So as I was saying, I, I, I feel like, uh, you know, not that I wasn't positive before, but, you know, there's a difference between thinking positive and being positive. And uh, I don't mean to get too, you know, existential, <laughs> but, you know, when, when you're sick and you, and you have a transplant, you know, you're, uh, you're, you're thinking positive because, you know, you want to get out of the hospital and you want to feel better and, and you hope that, uh, that the transplant's going to work and you hope that you're going to feel better and you hope that the nausea's going to go away. Um, but then as you actually get better, uh, as I am, I'm actually being positive. I'm acting positive. I'm, I'm uh, doing things, uh, you know, physically and uh, and even mentally that that are all positives. You know, I'm like, you know, for example, you know, just playing my guitar more and getting out more and uh, and uh, trying to do a little bit more stuff, um, you know, exercise-wise, and and it just really lifts your spirits. And when when you're happier about it, you become positive instead of hoping for positive results. Um, so it's a hard thing to sort of uh, explain again, but um, I ain't complaining, if you know what I'm saying. And um, I just, you know, again, without getting too deep uh, uh, in this whole thing, I, I feel so much better right now. I, I feel so positive. Um, I feel really um, great about, you know, my prognosis, and I, and I feel really good about, you know, what's going to happen in the near future. Um, I'm really glad to be back to work and I'm really glad to be feeling better uh, physically and uh, I really do I really do think that uh, we've we've made a lot of strides. And I say we because it's a you know it's a combination of my family, my friends, myself and my doctors that are uh, all in this thing together. And uh, unfortunately um, you know I was the one who had to fucking end up in the hospital but um, I'm not there anymore, which is pretty cool, and I think that's part of the reason that I'm, uh, you know, filming here and having all these people look at me like I'm a fucking lunatic. Um, but uh, it's really cool to be out and, you know, in front of this stuff rather than stuck in one of those buildings for, you know, however many weeks. Um, I realize that I've gone way over, so I sh I'm sure this video is going to end up being two parts, but. Um, I, I, I don't know what it is, I just I felt like, you know, driving down here and, and just uh, being in a really cool um, environment and just talking about how, how well things have gone and, uh, you know, I'm not usually a sucker like that, you know, I usually pretty reserved, kind of not too high, not too low, cautious, but uh, it's weird, like I'm, this is the equivalent of me, you know, screaming from the highest building or the highest mountain, you know, how, how, uh, how good things are. So, um, you know, again, I know there are a couple of you, particularly Tyrone, uh, I've been talking to some people and I know that Tyrone that, um, he's a guy, he's out in, um, he's out in LA, uh, actually, uh, from, you know, from outside of LA, but he's, uh, being treated at Cedar sinai and he's got triplet girls and he's got a son as well. And, uh, I know this is a tough time for him and his family, um, and I was just, I was really, uh, I was really honored that, um, that he and his family, you know, reached out to me. Um, first that these goofy videos had any bearing on them whatsoever, um, but also that, uh, you know, they sought my advice on this stuff, and, and I think that's something pretty special, and, uh, you know, I know that you're, uh, going through your harvesting process, and you're probably going to be going in for the, uh, the actual transplant, so I wish you the best. Uh, please do uh, continue to reach out to me whenever you want and ask me questions. There is no such thing as a, as a silly question. I mean, there are a lot of things that the doctors tell you, but there are a lot of things that they don't tell you. You know, like, for example, when you get mouth sores, how are you supposed to brush your teeth? Well, the truth is, you got to ask for those little sponges on a stick, and they just let you, you know, sort of go through with some toothpaste on it, but you can't really brush your teeth. So it's little, little stuff like that that people, you know, that the doctors don't tell you that I'm happy to explain to you or to anyone who's going through this. Um, if you got a family member that's going through this, any kind of cancer, I mean, you know, for some reason, I, I guess these videos have become uh, a way that uh, I can sort of get things off my chest and also in some 
in some small way help some other folks. Um, so I, I would love to hear from anyone who's got any kind of concerns about any kind of cancer because we're, we're all sort of, you know, in this thick soup and, you know, even though we're, we're, we might be different, <laughs> have different uh, parts of the soup, uh, you know, and, and that's a really poor way of saying we, there are different kinds of cancer, but it's all cancer, you know, and, and everyone goes through the chemo and there are a lot of emotional issues that you go through and um, there are a lot of things that we can all share with each other to um, help each other out. And that includes the families and the friends because I know it's hard uh, for a lot of people to deal with. Boy, I just keep rambling, and people keep going by thinking I look like a complete idiot. <laughs> but I don't really give a shit. Um, so, boy, where, where, where do I go from here? Um, you know, obviously I'm going to keep doing these videos, and hopefully, you know, these things sort of motivate me to, like, get a little bit better the next week, you know, and hopefully by this time next week I'll have at least gotten on my bike once, or, or something. Who knows what it is, but, um... You know, I, I think that these these videos are really sort of cathartic for me and um, have done wonders for me simply by reading the emails and stuff that I get. It's just uh, I could I could get choked up talking about it, but I won't. Um, so anyway, I, I guess the point here is um, I think that I've turned a corner. I think that we might you know. We might be in for a really long, long, uh, a long life, and uh, it ain't going to be easy. Um, you know, this thing's probably going to come back at some point, and I'm probably going to have to go through some more treatments. But there are so many treatments out there that uh, that the longer that you know that, that I continue to to live and prosper, the more drugs and the more you know research is going to be done and. And I, you know, I don't think I'm ever going to run out of options. And, and you know, six weeks ago, I wouldn't have told you that. I would have told you that, uh, that I didn't feel real great about it. Um, but, you know, things change. Um, and, you know, your mental state will do a lot for that. Um, so, anyway. <sighs> Again, thank you for all the emails. Thank you for the phone calls. Thank you for the support. Thanks for watching the videos, all that stuff. I mean, it's just so cool. I can't. I, I never would have thought that this is what it would have become. Um, so please uh, stay in touch. Um, I got all kinds of crazy. <laughs> I got some crazy adventures uh, planned for the summer. I, I, I just uh, my new my new mantra is fuck cancer and uh, and. That's basically what I'm doing. So I, I'm going. I'll, I'll bring the camera with me everywhere. But I'm going down for a four-day uh, concert camping excursion in Tennessee, Bonnaroo, which you guys, some of you may know. And uh, so far, I'm just driving alone. I just don't care. It's like fuck cancer. I'm just gonna do whatever I feel like doing. And uh, I don't know. I guess that's it. So um, I will keep keep these videos coming. And. Uh, Hopefully I won't ramble on too much like I did today, but uh, it's, a, it's a really good thing to be rambling about good stuff. So anyway, um, I'll talk to you later. Peace.